Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Kiyarin. Thanks so much for tuning into my video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a shirt that I made on my Instagram that is actually my most liked photo ever. And it is the trend going around right now with the safety pin in the wife beater shirt. So when I first made this shirt, I hadn't seen anyone do the oversized safety pin look at all before I did it. I've seen a couple people do it, but still not a lot of people are on the oversized pin wave. I think the shirt is super cute to wear as the weather is getting warm, even though we are still in quarantine, but there is hope that we will have a little bit of a summer. So this is definitely a super cute summer top. And I thought that I would show you guys how to make mine. It's super quick, super easy. It took me like 10 minutes and I only needed three things. I will have all the links to everything that you need to buy in the description below. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. So I start out with my three things that I need, which is the wife beater, the oversized safety pins, and a pair of sharp scissors. Sharp scissors are really important because you're cutting clothes. So I'm just getting that wife beater ready to be cut, opening it up, making sure it's all nice and flat. And then I'm going to go ahead in and crop it because this is a cropped wife beater kind of look. So you don't want it to be the original size that it comes in. So I want the nice cropped look. I like to wear mine a little short, but I went longer just for the sake of the tutorial. But if I were making one for myself, then it would definitely be a tad bit shorter. Then you want to go in and cut up the middle since you're putting the oversized safety pins right in between and depending on how much skin you want to show then you would make it a little bit wider but I just cut right up the middle because it's enough skin for me just enough. But as you can see I go in and take off a little bit because it was just a little bit uneven so I went and made that perfect. So now I got my three oversized pins and I line them up right where I want to pin them on the shirt horizontally and then I just go in, pin them. Please excuse my old lady hands. I'm not able to get them done so I'm just really natural in it out right now <laughs> but please excuse the hands. Um, who else has had severely dry hands from all the hand sanitizer and the washing of the hands excessively? I swear my hands are literally going to fall off but... And now after pinning them all, it is done. So as I was saying, this is like a super, super, super easy thing. And you can see how I'm um, looking at the shirt, making sure I like the width in between each safety pin. And I do, I love the way it turned out. So this is the final product. Well guys, I hope you guys liked this shirt. Like I said, it was super quick and easy to make. It's super, super, super cute. Like when I tell you, it literally takes the wife beater to a whole nother level, I feel like with the big oversized pins. So like I said, if you do recreate this, make sure that you DM me or tag me in your photo because I definitely want to see your different recreations. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.